What's up guys, my name is Brandon and after just releasing iOS 12 yesterday, Apple wastes absolutely no time in bringing us the very first beta of iOS 12.1. So yeah, this is now available to developers and you can see right here the size, it came in at 2.62 gigabytes here on my iPhone 8 Plus and the update actually went through very smoothly. Also the automatic updates feature came in handy for downloading this. And if we go over to our settings, general about, you can see the build number there, 16B5059D. So of course a long build number as expected as we are expecting to get multiple betas of 12.1. So anyways, let's talk about what's new here in 12.1 as far as features and changes. So the first new feature in 12.1 is that group FaceTime is finally back. So in iOS 12, we did get group FaceTime throughout the beta phases. We did get it in multiple betas, but it didn't make it to the final build of iOS 12. The final build of iOS 12 does not have group FaceTime enabled. But now on iOS 12.1 beta 1, we do have group FaceTime back. You can see if you go to call somebody and you press these three dots right here you can see you can add people right there to the group and FaceTime with multiple people at a time so that is great news for those of you who want to FaceTime up to 30 people at a time can FaceTime at once which is pretty awesome of course we do have the feedback app here as well in iOS 12.1 it is back since we are on a beta so another new feature here in iOS 12.1 is actually a pretty neat one and one that I've actually wished was a feature in the past and past iOS versions so if you have red receipts on now when you clear the notification from control center it shows that as being read. So let me just show you guys an example with me texting myself. So let me send myself a text message here so you guys can get an idea as to what I'm talking about. So look, I got a message right there, but I'm not actually going to read it or go into the message itself. And you can see here on my iPhone 7, it still shows as just delivered. But check out when I go to the control center and clear that notification. Take a look at that. It marks it as red once you clear it from Notification Center. So this is a very cool and useful feature, but it could also be seen as a bug or just a feature that you don't want to see if you don't want to let people know that you've been ignoring them by clearing the notifications without actually reading their text message. But I think it's a pretty cool and overall smart feature from Apple here in 12.1. Now, one thing that I can confirm that works on iOS 12.1, but I'm not gonna perform it here on video, is that the reboot bug also works on 12.1. So the reboot bug I'm talking about is the one that made its earlier this week where basically if you click this link it'll crash your phone I'm sure you guys have seen it. a lot of popular youtubers made this video that does still persist for some reason in 12.1 and my guess is that it will probably get fixed in 12.1 beta 2 now let's talk about some smaller changes inside of settings so if we go into our Siri and search settings this is iOS 12.1 here on the left over here on the right is iOS 12 and take a look up top you can see it shows my shortcuts now instead of the suggested shortcuts and then all shortcuts it is changed around a little bit and I actually like the layout a lot better here on iOS 12.1 but everything else when you go down is the same on iOS 12 and 12.1 now if we go to the emergency SOS settings you can see there is a new option here for countdown sound we did not have that here in iOS 12 now there was a lot of talk about there being new emojis in iOS 12.1 but I looked through all of them and unfortunately there are no new emojis here in iOS 12.1 now another thing that got added in iOS 12.1 is that the ECG capability for the new Apple watch has been enabled here with 12.1 now this isn't anything you're going to see, but it has been enabled for 12.1. So those are just some of the new features and changes that I've found so far in iOS 12.1. I know there are others out there and I will continue digging through the software until I find more and I will make a follow-up video as well. I can say that performance feels about the same as it did on iOS 12. It doesn't really feel any different so far. And of course it is too early to tell anything about battery life. But speaking of battery life, I will have a video coming out very soon on battery life tips for iOS 12. So stay tuned for that video. But anyways, like I said that's pretty much it here for this video I just want to bring you guys a quick video letting you know that iOS 12.1 was released to developers it will be out for public beta testers soon and of course we should have beta 2 most likely next week if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up also leave a comment down below if you did install iOS 12.1 and if you found any other new features or changes so thanks again for watching guys and I'll see you soon